up everybody i know it's been a while but i'm back with another nail video uh dip powder to be exact um i will have some more videos coming up in december i'm trying to work on them and get them posted as soon as possible so um, of course i'm starting with the nail prep if you don't do this most likely um the nails will just pop right off the whole entire dip will pop right off if you don't prep them and this is kind of the same way they prep your nails even when you do go to the nail salon um they usually you know file buff and dehydrate your nails so i'm doing that now and then i will start on the dip i noticed that when you buy a larger pack of the dip powders with a lot of colors it, the bottles are a lot smaller than when you buy just a pack of six colors i do like the bigger one because my nail is so long like my fingers are so long i like it it's easier to dip okay so i'm gonna start with the base coat and this time i'm gonna do it kind of like they do it on the kiera sky youtube channel where i'm going to just start at the uh, middle of the nail and not bring it all the way up to the cuticle for the three times i'm gonna dip because i did get a comment on one of my other videos about how it was chipping for that person um at the cuticle mine doesn't usually chip at the cuticle it chips at the tip of my nail but i'm gonna try it this way um because this way is probably the correct way i have no idea and if you're watching this trying to build up the courage to try this on yourself don't be nervous just try it it's really really easy like i'm no professional by any means like you could really do this it's so easy and it will save you a lot of money but you should also always treat yourself to a little trip to the nail salon every now and then because it is super relaxing okay so i use the clear dip anytime i'm gonna do some kind of design i like to work up the layers with the clear uh, dip powder so I did this to my ring finger and my middle finger and then I used this <laughs> this tape, this makeup tape from e.l.f. that I used to like do a wing eyeliner to help me do a wing but I guess you can use any tape. And then I went back over it with a clear for the third dip and then I moved on to the other two fingers and I just did those with um, the burgundy color. So remember you put the base coat, dip, wait about 30 seconds then wipe off all the dust, then base coat again, then dip, then wait about 30 seconds, and then brush all the excess off. And be sure to wait a little bit and let that dip dry on that base coat a little bit before you just go in and do another dip because it'll still be kind of wet. After you dip three times, then you are going to use the activator, wait about 30 seconds or a minute, and then you're going to file the nail you can use an e-file or a regular file don't forget to use the brush saver dip all your brushes into that because i didn't and some of them got stiff so just dip each one in there after you finish doing the application then you activate the powder one more time and wait about two minutes i decided to go ahead and use these gold flakes that i found on shein i put the top coat on and then i try to use the flakes the flakes are kind of messy kind of like spread everywhere but I tried my best and um you know I don't mind I'll try to use them again in another video maybe I could like get the technique down um, but I used the gold flakes I uh, stuffed them on with the top coat and then on some of the other nails I just used rhinestones Don't forget to top coat twice and this is the finished product. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Hope you guys can please, please, please give this video a thumbs up. Help share it all around YouTube. If you subscribed already, thank you so much. And if you haven't, please consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.